Aman has come to the market with rupees 100. If he buys 5 kilograms of cabbage and 4 kilograms of potato, he'll have rupees 20 left. Or else, if he buys 4 kilograms of cabbage and 5 kilograms of onion, he'll have rupees 7 left. The per kilogram prices of cabbage, onion, and potato are positive integers in rupees. Nice, helpful. And any type of these vegetables can only be purchased in positive integer kilogram or none at all. You cannot buy 1.3 kilograms of anything. Very helpful. It's an integer solution question. And Aman decides to buy only onion in whatever maximum quantity possible with the money he has come to the market with. Nice. Let's do this. Let's frame the equations. 5C plus 4P equal to 80. 5C plus 4P is equal to 80. Right. Second one. 4C plus 5O. 4C plus 5O onion. I'm writing it like this, otherwise you'll get confused with uh, O. It's 93. And, uh, C is an integer, P is an integer, all of that. Good, fine, lovely. And, now, the first equation is very interesting for me because 80 happens to be a multiple of 5 and 4. And super fun to think. Why? Because 5c is a multiple of 5, 80 is a multiple of 5, 4p should be a multiple of 5 or p should be a multiple of 5. 4p is a multiple of 80, 80 is a multiple of 80, sorry, 4p is a multiple of 4, 80 is a multiple of 4, 5c should be a multiple of 4. This number is a multiple of 5, it should be a multiple of 5, because the total is a multiple of 5. This number is a multiple of 4, this should be a multiple of 4, because the total is a multiple of 4. Or, we know that C, oopsie, C is, cabbage is multiple of 4, number of potatoes is a multiple of 5. Okay. So, cabbage could be 4 or 8 or 12 or 16, something like that. So, number of kilograms of cabbage or cost per kilogram of cabbage, not number of kilograms of cabbage, could be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, something like that. Except 5 into 4 is 20, 5 into 8 is 40, 5 into 12 is 60, 5 into 16 is 80, already there, is buying at least one. So, all of these are not possible. So the number of kilograms of cabbage is bought are 4, 8 or 12, nothing else is possible. And so, 5 times C could be 20, 40 or 60 being spent on this. The remaining being spent on potatoes, that will work for sure. We need to check this. So, 4C can be 4 into 4, 16, 8 into 4, 32, 12 into 4, 48. So, 5 times onion could be 93 minus 16. 93 minus 32 or 93 minus 48. This is 45. I like it because that's a multiple of 5. That can work. This is not a multiple of 5. This is 61. This is 77. These two don't work. Only this works. We are through. Or the price per cabbage should be 12. The price of onion should be 9, price of potato, 5 to 12 is 60, remaining 20 remaining, price of potato is 5. So 1 kilogram of cabbage costs 12 bucks, 12 into 4 is 48, 1 kilogram of onion is 9 bucks, 5 into 9 is 45, 45 plus 48, 93, that works. 5 into 12, 60, 1 kilogram of potato costs 5, 4 into 5, 20, 60 plus 20, 80. This is not just a solution, this is the solution, only one thing works. Nice. So how much money will he be left after the purchase? What is he purchasing? He's purchasing only onions, maximum quantity possible. Price of onion is 9, maximum he can buy is 11 kilograms, 99 bucks he'll spend, 1 rupee he'll be left with. That's the answer. Beautiful question, because you have to solve for what are the possibilities. Both of these should be satisfied, only one set of positive integer values work and then we are through.